Yeah, yeah, thanks. Well, was Elizabeth any help? Too much help. She named three places that could be uh, the estate that Vicky described. Three places? Look, were any of them recently rented or sold? All of them. But Marius wouldn't work that way. He'd work through a middleman first. The first place is on uh, Old Orchard Road there. The second place is right here. And the third place is Lake Bella Vista. Oh, great, just great. Yeah, they're all 15 miles apart. It could take us hours to search all those places. From the sound of Vicky's voice, we don't have hours. Well, then we better be right the first time. Come on. Fatal mistake. That's what I said. Well, Marius, I know you're angry with me, but I, I don't... Why would I be angry with you? For charging up the phone bill. But I was left in, in the room alone, and I couldn't help but using the phone. That used to drive my ex-husband crazy. He would try calling me, and the line would be busy because I was chatting on the phone with my friends. So I just told him not to leave me alone anymore. For instance, right now, I don't have my mind on the phone at all. I don't have anything on my mind but you. Say something, you can believe it. What? You think I'm a complete fool? No, I think you're one of the smartest men I've ever met. Really? Smart as yourself? Me? <laughs> no. I'm just an airhead, regular bimbo. Well, I leave you alone for five minutes. When I return, you're on the phone. Now, you're the kind of woman that I wouldn't take to bed unless I knew I had a gun under the pillow. Oh, if I was in your bed, you wouldn't even think about using a gun. Don't ever assume something so stupid. No! God! What are you doing here, Lucas? Excuse me, Mr. Sloan, I didn't... I know you didn't want to be disturbed. Yeah, it's a pity Lucas didn't understand the same thing. I didn't realize he was on his way here. Shall I escort him out for you? No. I have it under control now. Of course. That was a stupid move. I promise you, I will make sure the rest of the house is secure. You do that. Yes, sir. So, have a good time, Lucas? Put that away, okay? You all right? Answer my question, Lucas. Well, I... I wasn't aware you still had company. Oh. I get tired of waiting for your answer. Mary, I'm the best man you ever had. When are you gonna let me back in? You wanna discuss this in front of Miss Hudson here? I don't care about her. She seems to care a great deal about you. You're getting paranoid, Marius. Maybe. But just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean that someone isn't following me. When I walked in this room, I overheard her telling someone on the phone that you were here. So she knows who I am? So what? So do a lot of people. No, it seems that you're not what you appear to be, Lucas. When you asked if you could return to my organization, I smelled a rat. And now I think I know exactly where that rat's located. I know how much you want to believe in Jake. Thank you very much for the information. I appreciate it. Well, we can rule out the estate on Bella Vista. Turns out an old friend of mine just bought it. Listen, can't you get this gas hog to go any faster? I told you, we're not going to take a squad car, and that's it. Listen, I told you that we, we could drop the black and white once we get up to the driveway and go the rest of the way on foot. Maurice's boys might see it. You know I that. take that chance. I don't believe you. Look, I know you like the direct approach, but trust me, I know Marius. Listen, give me the 18th precinct. Look, I know Marius, too, and the faster we get there, the better. Yeah, Ryan Harrison. Yeah, I'm gonna need some backup, possible 211. You know what it is? It's the old Biggs estate on Orchard Road. What, how do you know that? What, another friend of yours got it? No, but I told you I know Marius. 
That Biggs estate has a bunch of fire roads and old logging trails crisscrossing the back of it, and I know that Marius would find a place with a good escape route. The old Biggs estate. Yeah, old Orchard Road. Uh, about five miles off the interstate. And no sirens, no lights. That's my daughter in there. All right, no, cut the sirens and cut the lights. Uh-huh. Marius Sloan, use extreme caution. Oh, my God, she's all right. Well, I do, too. Hey, there's the exit. We're almost there. You, uh, Grant Harrison's brother. All right. I know that he would give his left arm to nail Marius. Well, so would I. Mind if I ask you a question? What's that? Why did you wait until I confronted you to tell me about Vicky and Marius? She kept on telling me that she could handle it. I mean, you know how she is. Yeah, I know how she is. And I also know how your brother is. I know that he's perfectly content to let Vicky take the heat while he takes the credit for nailing Marius. And what I want to know is, are you the same way? I know you weren't expecting to see me again tonight. No, I... I'll tell you this before, because Vicky didn't want me to. What? She's doing this all for you. What? Marius. She found out that he had a contract on you. <sighs> Follow that curve and then go straight after that. What do you mean she's doing this for me? <sighs> you know, she loves you a lot. And she didn't want me to tell you, so I probably shouldn't have told you anyway. Oh, yes, you should have told me. I'm sorry. You should be. Look, Vicky has done a lot of impulsive things. She's just kind of that way. I, uh... I wasn't there for her when she was growing up. Yeah, I know. She told me. When I first met her, she had an attitude that, uh... Actually, Donna told me, reminded her of, uh, me. I love my daughter a lot, and nothing better happened to her. So we'll nothing. find her, okay? We'll find her. The lights. That's got to be the house right up there. What's he going to do to us? I don't know. Here, put this on your jaw. He hit me. I can't believe he hit me. Nobody hits me. You're lucky he didn't do worse. Oh, Does he know that you know that? I don't know. I certainly hope not. Oscar's getting the car. You'll be leaving in a few minutes. Where are we going? Oh, you're angry at me. I don't like being Vic hit, Marius. Answer the lady's question. Where are we going? My, they are curious, aren't they? Let's keep it a surprise. No. It's much more fun watching them squirm. You'll be having a very unfortunate accident, I'm afraid. Accident? Yes. Rushing to get away from here at a very high speed. The car that you've stolen from me will swerve off the road out of control and land in the middle of a forest. Your bodies won't be discovered for centuries. Yeah, it's a pity, isn't it? I really love that car. They're not going to kill us. You're a pig, Marius. You're dead, my love. The doors after I leave. Oh, and I wouldn't try the windows either. My guard dogs have a peculiar fondness for a well-turned ankle. It's a stupid move, Marius. Help yourself to some brandy. Might make your trip a little smoother. Is he on the level about those dogs? Yeah, Marius has a way with pit bulls. So, from all appearances, it looks like you and I are going to buy the farm. Think anyone is going to miss us? We're not missing yet. Just hang in there. I'd have a lot easier time hanging in if I didn't keep thinking about my son. What are you doing? Checking to see if these windows have alarms. And they do. Well, let's jimmy the lock if we don't the lock. Daniel, the other one? Yeah. He's worse than the pit bulls. It's 
funny, you know? No. No, none of this is funny. Can I have a shot? Strange. You spend your life worrying about paying bills, getting ahead. Something like this hits you. You realize what? Who is really important? I don't think I like this. What? You being so philosophical. You're supposed to be figuring out angles to get us out of here. No. I always ended up scamming myself. Just going along with whatever was there because it was easy, never really what I wanted. Are you talking about Felicia now? At this point, it doesn't matter who I'm talking about. We're not gonna get out of here, are we? Hey, I'll be in an awful lot more trouble than she is right now. Besides, you're the one who said that the direct approach wouldn't work with him. I'm not gonna just sit here, Well, all then right? let me go in. You! Yeah. Marius doesn't know me, I hope. I'm the best shot we've got. Look, we got no idea what you're facing in there. None. Look, at you just stay here, wait for the squad cars, and then inform the officers of what's going on. That's my daughter in there. And the best way to get her out is for you to stay in the background. All right. But you better know how to do your job well. Your limousine awaits you. If you think we're gonna make this easy for you, you're crazy. Well, easy or difficult, the result will be the same. We'll use the other door, it leads out the back way. We're not going anywhere. Well, then I'll have to get Daniel to help persuade you. I'll be right back. Yes, uh, Officer Dombrowski, uh, Bay City PD. May I see some ID? Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Just a minute. It's Ryan. What, what, who? Oh. It's a cop I know. He found us. What are you doing? Wait, lock the doors. I'm gonna go out there. Keep what is screaming. This cop will end up in the limo with us. You think I'm gonna pass up a ticket to get out of this mill house? Of course not. Just think you're out the right way. What do you want, officer? A nice place you got here. Must have cost you plenty, huh? Officer, I'm a very busy man. What do you want? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm here to make an arrest. I beg your pardon. Yeah, Victoria Hudson was seen uh, entering the premises. She was? Oh, yeah. We've had a tail on that little number for weeks. Why? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, Mr. Sloan? Yes. Well, you were about to get snookered. How so? Well, this Hudson Broad's been pulling the same scam off for months. You see, what she does is she finds a wealthy individual such as yourself, and then uh, she makes the guy go crazy for him. And before you can say, cash my chips in, she's got the guy depositing cash and property in her name or her son's name. Yeah. I see. Now, you're just lucky I got here before she got to phase three. So, uh, where is she? What? Well, you gotta produce her before I can book her. Officer, I'm afraid you've made a very serious mistake. Next, it's high living and low blow. Right. Your surveillance people must have made a mistake. He's trying to get rid of him. It's time to make our move. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to insist on searching the premises anyway. I'm afraid that won't be possible. That's right, you stupid cop. Get out of here. This is a bum rap. You've just added insulting an officer to those charges. You have the right to remain silent. What about Any... him? What about him? He's my partner, and I'm not going up the river without him. Are you too stupid to count to two? All right, that's it, both of you. Off you go. Let's You're go. not going to pin this on us. Oh, yeah? Well, I got eight jilted lovers that say I can. I'm very sorry, Mr. Sloan, to have no bothered you. No going anywhere. She's got a gun. Move it!